dear all, today there is a very good news for Madras uh, High Court. Honorable uh, Chief Justice of India has recommended nine names to the Supreme Court and it includes Honorable uh, M. M. Sundaresh J. It's a great news and as we all know, everyone in Madras High Court have a special place for Honorable Justice Mr. Sundaresh. I am Venkat Shiv Kumar. I have been appearing since 2010 uh, before the Madras High Court as a party in person. I am a chartered accountant uh, and also did masters in law. Um, the first uh, appearance, uh, there is some case was there for me and uh, I went there and he was, uh, Lordship was sitting over the general miscellaneous bench. There were about 171 cases, petitions were there, mine is 163. And uh, this honorable judge is, uh, was very young, uh, even now he is young, but uh, 10, 11, 12 years back he must be much younger and a very handsome judge. Very pleasant, soft, kind and uh, I was watching him when the petition is there, when the other's first side is appearing. He will listen to both of them and then he was explaining to them these are the issues I think in your case and this is the position of law. Uh, have I understood properly? That's what you are also trying to say. Then he was telling this is the judgment. This is how it can be adjudicated and by 3.30 he has come to 163 petitions. This is the first experience of this kind judge, immense knowledge, but very soft, at the same time very firm. Over the periods, um, oh, I remember he was telling me in the open court, a National Judicial Academy was there. Suddenly he saw me and said, Mr. Venkat Shokumar, have you gave, given any suggestions? the Supreme Court as they called for. While saying that, he was telling that you appear like a senior counsel and most of the times you are there in this court, I see you and it's good that people like you come and then participate. That was uh, a great uh, acknowledgement, appreciation. Is generally everyone will like. As you all know uh, that uh, whenever a petition is being filed, all the people will think who is the judge sitting in the bench and what is the possible remedy that they can ask and get. But everybody will know once this bench is presided over by uh, Honorable Sundaresh Ji, they know he will give relief. At the same time, a relief according to law, in accordance with law. He is not an extreme sides and he adjudicates the law by way of interpretation. He's got an excellent, extempore knowledge on many, many things, criminal law, writ to jurisdiction, civil law, because I was appearing before him in most of the, and also I go and watch in his court, uh, sit and whenever other cases are there. One petition what I filed in uh, reforms in legal education, he was sitting along with uh, the Chief Justice, Honorable Chief Justice and he was so much concerned about the legal education, the reforms that should be brought in and uh, he was so well prepared and uh, he was very very keen that uh, the Bar Council has to perform and uh, we have worked 16 days, uh, the matter was heard when the Lordships was sitting on the bench along with R.K. Agarwal. Mr. Honorable Acting Chief Justice Agni Hotriji and then Justice Mr. Kaul. Now I had an opportunity to introduce him in a book uh, releasing some and uh, I was speaking about justice dispensation system with particular reference to the approach of these lordships. 
because anyone in honorable madras high court young lawyer medium lawyer senior counsel everyone will have great regard and respect for him as a person for his knowledge and his uh, approach to adjudication and uh, normally in an adjudicating process there are two litigants and the judgment can be favorable to only one person so the other person will become hostile but their lordships i don't know he man manages everything so well everybody likes him everybody likes him and uh, a very pleasant knowledgeable judge so in that lecture i was uh, prior to the lecture uh, we had a meeting 45 minutes he was sitting with me and um, he was analyzing how bills have to be filed the preparation that is required before you file a bill and uh, uh, every person who is filing petition either is a law through lawyer or himself has to come so well prepared and give correct information to the judges so that authenticated judge information is required the way he expressed how the uh, you know societal changes that can be brought in through the law and uh, i had an opportunity to exchange uh, the insolvency and bankruptcy court issues he was a very keen listener very keen listener with great respect he was listening amazing knowledge i am an ordinary fellow and uh, when somebody came and said uh, 45 minutes lord shins uh, your time is wasted he said no mr venkat shivkumar explain me i learnt a lot uh, a smiling you know handsome judge uh, is like your brother is like uh, this thing but very firm when it comes to everybody will appreciate so i was asked to give introduction there after at that point in time i spoke on the concept of dharma i took the example of uh, um vibhishan in the war field uh, with the permission of shri ram ji comes and then uh, meets kumbhakarna and tells kumbhakarna uh, to come and join lord ram at that point kumbhakarna talks about dharma the concept of dharma is something which changes from time to time what is dharma for you may not be dharma for me and as the time pass by the real dharma will be settled so vibhishan has come before lord ram believing that he is swayam sriman narayan and he advised his elder brother ravan that what is doing is wrong and uh, several times told him this is not fair to incarnate and uh, create a uh, lady and keep her in a jail like this but Ra- ravan has kicked him in the open court so for a good person a respectable person a kick is in the open court insult is like death therefore he left his brother and came then for that vibhishan kumbhakarna will tell vibhishan i know you have chosen lord ram and you have gone to him fine that is ultimate uh, jeevatma has to join with paramatma you have chosen but me i am not going to choose that for me my brother is very important elder brother he is like pita my father brother and brother relationship is like shoulder to shoulder if one shoulder is not good can you cut the shoulder so i have to die i know i am going to die i know what my brother done is wrong and is going to be punished and uh, the i but for the sake of this rakshas jati i have decided to stay with ravan but as the days go by history will judge you as a traitor whereas history will judge me as differently as a warrior i died for the brother so that is called dharma that is called dispensation of justice and i had uh, you know almost on a daily basis i used to go to madras high court and many times uh, honorable uh, sundaresh ji and was the was presiding judge because the bills and all chief justice court legal education 
reforms in the adjudicating mechanism and then uh, many other uh, pills concerning corruption of ICAI all these things were to come on them and it is a great pleasant experience to watch his lordships the way he adjudicates is it is really honorable chief justice the collegium led by honorable chief justice choosing um, sundaresh j is something fantastic i really appreciate it not because he is a judge from honorable madras i could yes it's a great thing but i must tell you why their lordships came uh, i have told him that uh, this judge honorable mm sundaresh j will have to um, go to supreme court my other friend my childhood classmate ram subramaniam is there and he is also extraordinary judge and mr sundaresh just honorable justice sundaresh is exactly comparable to him but let me tell you in another comparison between both of them is i used to uh, you know from child 20 20 years and all we were together ram subramani myself so he had such a terrific knowledge on uh, drama and mahabharat tirukural uh, bible uh, quran anything he will talk and i used to be a passive listener uh, the way extempore manner in which he used to speak and in this uh, as book uh, releasing some lordship came after me and um, he said i am overwhelmed with the introduction given by venkat shiv kumar and then he spoke on dharma akum kam ramayana it is not just story i said story i went prepared but the lordships hearing me on one verse he took and he expressed the what kamba uh, wrote in that verses you know by heart or the way he explained that adjudication mechanism everyone were thrilled very simple judge and uh, it's a great honor to uh, every person a litigant or high madras high court judges and uh, yes. the advocates and uh, yes. i wish him uh, a great uh, tenure as the uh, honorable judge of supreme court he is quite young so he has got long uh, tenure and uh, we can see uh, very good judgments um, he will uh, lordships uh, as per what we have seen uh, is very bold but at the same time not uh, extreme uh, but at the same time the way he analyzes and he is really he is concerned with everyone uh, the way in which he adjudicates the criminal jurisprudence he was sitting for very long time and uh, everybody you know is a, a man of concern man of kindness and uh, his judgments are going to bring in far reaching impact on the society that is at most needed i wish him all the very best thank you